everyone, it's Carrie's Little Piggies here and welcome our new additions to the family. Here are the sugar puffs, <laughs> which is what we call them together because they literally look like cream puffs. One of them looks like a chocolate cream puff and the other one looks like a little creamy or lemony cream puff <laughs> and we absolutely are in love with them we've only had them a few days but look at how cute they are I knew I had to do a video and probably just a vlog type video for this one and they're still babies so they're still pretty shy <laughs> And they're both Texel guinea pigs, so they're both curlies. And they're little puff balls, which is why sugar puffs also fit them. So the cream and yellow one, with a little bit of yellow agouti on her head, and she also has some on her bum. <laughs> she is called Kika. And Kika in Guam is a term of endearment. It's a name that I was called when I was little. <laughs> and it basically means like silly girl or kind of little oddball. <laughs> and she got her name because the very first time that she ever tried out a water bottle, it took little Kika about five minutes to figure out how to actually drink from it. So I thought she was so cute and funny. <laughs> and the one on the left, that little chocolate cream puff baby, is called Mestiza. And Mestiza in Guam, it is referred to like a mixed breed or basically somebody who comes from Guam and another culture. Mestiza's coloring is actually very, very uncommon. It is called like a chocolate grizzled because it's actually this crazy brown ombre, like chocolate tipped. Somebody dipped her fur and the tips are in like little bits of chocolate. So that's Mestiza, we call her Missy. So it is dinner time, so maybe I can get some good footage of them eating. They are still getting used to veggies, and they are still pretty shy, so let's see. Here, honeys. Here, babies. What's that? What's that, Missy? And I've given them some green lettuce, some green bell pepper, and some parsley. Because they are babies, so they need higher calcium vegetables. And Missy and Kika are only about two months old. They were born in December. So the sugar puffs are temporarily living in this tiny little cage here. And please, please know that I do not recommend this for any kind of housing, no matter if they're babies, no matter if it's one piggy. This is so entirely too small. It's even smaller than a two by two in CNC cages. But the reason I have them in here, and we've only had them a few days, is because it's very baby proof safe. CNC grids are not as safe because these babies can actually fit through the grids. And also as little babies who are still getting used to their surroundings and they really aren't bonded bonded yet. So I wanted them to be in close quarters to kind of bond a little. Of course, this is the most mini cage tour you can possibly get. This is their little Heidi that they absolutely love. It is a piggy chic Heidi. It's just a wooden Heidi with the little cover and cupcakes. And the sugar puffs are already loving the microfiber rug. I find dozens and dozens of poops in there every day. We've got this colorful little kebab here with lots of different textures and things that they can chew on as well as a bell to play with and I do hear them going in and out, but that's probably because they're running through to the hay. And you've probably seen this before. This is a Squeak Dreams hay bag. They love, love, love 
the KMS Bluegrass Hay already. These little chew toys they haven't touched yet but that's because they're still new and but I've got a couple of Playtime Little Critter Creations little toys there, the little lolly and the little mini donut. I've got some seagrass, some willow sticks, a willow ball. And then this here is a Twilight Chinchillas cupcake and I filled it with lots of forage. I've got two water bottles here and as you can see this one needs to be refilled. They drink a lot. So I have two. It's always a good idea no matter how many piggies you have to have more than one water bottle in the cage. And down here is their little pellet bowl. Says yum. Look at how cute. No pellets in it yet because I still limit them like I do the others. Although in the very beginning, the very first couple of days, I did give them unlimited pellets just to give them that extra nutrition, but now they're on restriction. <laughs> so let me just get this point out of the way. And Kika and Missy were not from a rescue. I got them from Princessa's Breeder. And I am definitely an advocate of adopt first if you can, but without going into a long drawn out debate or details, I waited for two months to get baby piggies from the rescue and three baby litters were born and all three of them happened to be boys. So after two months I decided to check my other options and I would never ever buy from Petco or PetSmart but Princess's Breeder, as you know from her story, she is a very ethical breeder and she takes very, very good care of her pigs. She is not a backyard breeder at all. And because I absolutely adore Princessa and she came out absolutely perfect, when I reached out to Princessa's breeder, she actually was so excited to home a couple more pigs with us. That's how they came to be here and they deserve as much love and happiness as all my rescue babies and you know I've got five of them but the reason I got any piggies at all and two piggies if you saw my update vlog from earlier this year is because these two I'm crossing fingers will be introduced with Reina and Kepua and become the Titan Puffs, or, or the Titans plus Sugar Puffs, whatever we decide to call their group name. But I'm so, so, so hoping that these two will help with getting Reina and Kepua back together. And the main reason I chose two piggies instead of one is because with Reina and Kepua's absolutely crazy, aggressive personalities. I did not want both of them picking on only one baby or one baby being alone and another reason I decided I definitely wanted babies rather than older piggies was because again with Reina and Kepua they are so super hard to get along with other pigs and they're so set in their ways that having another older piggy or two older piggies might cause more chaos than help. I've done tons of research and I talked to the rescue people and babies are the easiest to get along with other piggies. And I kind of was thinking that Raina and Kepua can be like a surrogate mom and dad for these two. So crossing fingers. So that's kind of why I'm doing this vlog, not only to introduce them, but also to tell you what's in store. I do want to do more videos on babies in general and taming them because these two are definitely far, far from tame like my other piggies and introducing them and hopefully Crossing Fingers becoming part of a quad with the Titans. And my little sugar puffs basically have grown. They've gained an ounce already in just a couple of days. So they're eating very, very well. They eat tons of hay, tons of pellets. They drink a lot of water. They're still learning the veggies, of course, but 
The past couple of days have been success because they have eaten all their veggies. Maybe not all at once, but they do eat them. Kika loves veggies way more than Missy. Missy will just nibble every now and then or eat what Kika has. <laughs> and one final note, I just wanted to say that a very, very important thing also is I have got these two on a quarantine mode. So that's another reason why they're in this cage. They are in my bedroom, but they are across the bedroom from where the piggies are. Because it is always, always a good idea when you get new piggies, no matter where you get them from, to give them a tiny bit of a quarantine period. It's recommended up to two weeks. And the reason why is because if there are any hidden illnesses or fungus or something like that, they won't spread immediately to the pigs that you're trying to introduce them to. So far I've been watching these little babies and they're totally fine and healthy, but I am still very careful when I cuddle with the other piggies. I cuddle with them first and then cuddle with these two just to be sure that nothing gets spread, but I have done health checks on them every day. I check on these two and so far so good. So please join us in welcoming our sugar puffs, Miss Disa and Kika. And thanks for watching everyone. Say bye girls. Bye.